The Uniform Code makes it abundantly clear that it must be the lawful orders of a superior officer. In fact, it says members of the military have an obligation to disobey unlawful orders. This principle was considered so important that we, we, the government of the United States, proposed that it be internationally applied in the Nuremberg trial. Dennis Kucinich, to my brothers and sisters with Occupy Wall Street and around the nation who are fighting for economic justice, let's not forget the wars. Nine years ago, the House of Representatives authorized the war in Iraq based on lies. Those who would rewrite history today would have us believe that we were fooled into thinking that Saddam Hussein was a threat and that Iraq had something to do with 9-11. That's not true. We were not fooled. We were lied to. Lied to by those who wanted the war for their own personal financial gains. Nine years ago, I analyzed the authorization for military force in Iraq, and it was obvious, based on information freely available, that it was based on lies. I'll put a link to that analysis below. We were not fooled. We were lied to. It's now obvious to even the most fervent war profiteer that the war in Iraq was a mistake. Iraq was not pursuing weapons of mass destruction, had nothing to do with 9-11, was not a threat to the United States. So why have we stayed in a war so long when we know it's a lie? Why did we see an estimated million innocent Iraqi civilians die? We know war profits have soared. Wall Street favorites like Halliburton, KBR, Bechtel, DynCorp, Northrop Grumman, General Electric, and General Dynamics have done very well, but well, we spend money on war. Halliburton stock price rose 600% between October 7, 2007 and June 30th, 2008. That was the end of the quarter before the financial crisis. The war in Iraq may end up costing as much as five trillion dollars, and we've sacrificed the lives of 4,473 brave Americans, and tens of thousands of our troops have been injured. The money spent for war could have been spent on education, creating green jobs, and rebuilding our infrastructure. It's time to end these wars. It's time to get some of our money back. We should implement an excise tax on the profiteers who have gained so much from a war based on lies. Keep occupying Wall Street. I'll keep occupying Congress. I'm Congressman Dennis Kucinich. Thank you.